15 Things Not To Do In Cayman Islands Every year about 2.5 million visitors visit the Cayman Islands. Most of them are cruise ship passengers who spend a few hours shopping, sunbathing, or stingrays swimming before leaving shore. Being one of the emerging tourist destinations, these islands are surely becoming tourists' favorites. And in this video, we will be talking about 15 things that every visitor should avoid before actually visiting it. Number 1. Weather in the Cayman Islands Fun in the sun will be pretty limited if you get sunburn or heat stroke. Apply plenty of high-factor sunscreen regardless of your skin type. Ideally, you should avoid the midday sun altogether, particularly as it is easy to underestimate the power of the sun's rays with a cool tropical breeze. If you get heat stroke then rehydrate. Number 2. There's no pier in Grand Cayman. Sure, you'll find lots of cruise ships, Carnival, Holland America, Disney, making stops in Grand Cayman, but there is no pier in Georgetown. Grand Cayman is a tender port, meaning that to get to shore you need to be ferried in a tender boat. On a busy day, you may find as many as a dozen ships parked away from the town ferrying passengers in by boat. Number 3, Roads. When driving keep left. When on foot and crossing a road look right. As in Great Britain and its other territories, vehicles in the Cayman Islands travel on the left-hand side of the road. Drink driving laws are strictly enforced. Seatbelt laws are also enforced and require the driver, and all passengers to buckle up. Children's seats are strongly recommended. Only use hands-free mobile devices when driving. It's the law. Number 4, Starfish, Turtle and Stingrays Rules. The Cayman Islands, is a haven for animal lovers. You have the Stingray City where you can feed and pet the stingrays, and the Turtle Center where you can snorkel with the fishes, and Turtles and Starfish Point where you can go knee-deep in the shallow water to see the colorful starfishes. However, the Cayman Islands have strict rules regarding the treatment of animals. Please do not take the starfishes and stingrays out of the water. The sudden change in the atmosphere causes discomfort to both of these creatures. So, it is okay to feed and pet these animals, but adhere to the rules regarding their safety. Number 5, Wear Slippers. An essential part of a good trip is comfortable footwear. The Cayman Islands are filled with sandy beaches, so, sneakers would not be a good idea. Opt for open rubber slippers for roaming and touring the best tourist spots as most of these areas are outdoors and along water shores. Slippers will make your move easier and faster. Shoes may trap sand within their soles, so, rubber slippers are the most ideal choice for your visit to the Cayman Islands. Number 6. Diving without training. The Grand Cayman is known for its exhilarating water sports and scuba diving is one of these activities. Scuba diving is undertaken by a lot of tourists and includes many styles, like diving with the stingrays and turtles, or going underwater and exploring so many aspects of marine life. However, you may be a professional diver or might have done this activity numerous times, but it is always recommended to get the required amount of training, and an experienced person to help you with scuba diving. Number 7, Dress Code. The dress code in the Cayman Islands is not very different from other European countries, but it is essential to know what to wear when and where. The beach allows its visitors to wear swimsuits and usual beachwear. However, restaurants and sightseeing in four-walled areas require more formal clothes. So, be careful with your choices regarding clothes, and where you plan to wear them. Number 8, Take care of your belongings. Please do not leave any of your things unattended at any time or place. Even while leaving the hotel room, lock the door securely and make sure it does not even budge an inch. Try to purchase a sling purse that you can keep a subconscious eye on while shopping. 
Whenever you hire a guide, make sure that he or she is legit, and from a real company and pay after the services or tour is completely over. Number 9, Nearly Everything is Closed on Sundays You'll find some restaurants open on Sundays, but everything else is closed. I walked into Georgetown on a Sunday and saw one cruise ship, but every shop was closed for the day. Just a few restaurants were open. It was practically a ghost town, but it was quite nice since the town is bustling every other day when the cruise ships are in. Number 10, Don't Forget to Tip Giving a tip to servers in restaurants, bars, or in accommodation hotels is usual. It provides extra income for the servers to give justice to their hard work. Since taxis don't have meters, tourists must negotiate well with the driver. Tip varies on the type of service tourists have received. In port, bag carriers usually get $1 per bag, for housekeepers, it is $2 to $5 per day, and for tour guides it ranges from $5 to $10 per person each day. Number 11, Medical. The World Health Organization, WHO, states that no vaccinations are required for international travel to the Cayman Islands. However, ensure you have adequate travel and medical insurance as Cayman does not operate a free national health system. Serious cases will normally be transferred to Miami via air ambulance. Number 12, Carry Bug Sprays. The forests and caves have persistent mosquitoes. So, always be sure to also keep a bug spray with you at all times. You will also get these items in various shops and hotels at affordable rates. So, even if you forget to pack sunscreen and bug spray, you can always buy it from nearby shops. Number 13, Crime. The crime threat in the Cayman Islands is generally considered low, although you should always take normal precautions. Petty theft does occur occasionally, but Cayman is one of the safest places in the Caribbean. Visitors from America are warned to never carry ammunition or firearms in their luggage when traveling to Cayman. Number 14, Greetings Etiquette. The Cayman Islands have been influenced by British culture, which means paying respect and courtesy to one another matters. Tourists are expected to ask for services politely and say thank you, please, and other terms that respect the workers. When bumping into older people or with authority, a greeting and the use of Mr. or Miss is expected. It is highly recommended for tourists to learn primary languages in the Cayman Islands. Number 15, Don't Forget to Plan. Before embarking on an exciting trip to the Cayman Islands, you should take out a notebook, and chalk out a rough draft of what are the things that you need to prepare, and do to get to the islands. The islands have numerous tourist spots, if you want to cover a majority of these places, planning is important. So, prepare all the documents needed, research a little about the place and pack your bags accordingly. After you get to the islands, you need to have planned the places you want to visit, the things you are about to undertake, where you would be staying, your everyday schedule and a time-bound itinerary for everyday sightseeing. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.